What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? We are back with Tales of Arise. I'm just gonna tell you this up front, guys. This might be a fairly short video. Um, I have, uh, if, if you didn't notice, my first video today went up, uh, <laughs> I think at like four o'clock in the afternoon. And I've been, this, this week, man, has been fucking nuts. It's just, uh, you know, between the first full week of classes, uh, what, the first full week of classes, um, three new games, I think, in the span of a week, I just, I, I've, I've, I've been busy. No complaints here. Make it. Violation. Take this. Feel. Prepare. Back into the fight. I'm on it. Yeah. Come and face me. We got the advantage. Good. Right. Just have to make sure we keep. Don't worry. Cause laws on. Coming through. Ha! No. Scarlet and. This. Go. Cool. Blazing sword! Did you, did you have to yell that, Alfin? I hate camping out. Shut you say that every time. Alright. Trying to think. I yeah, I haven't explored anywhere up here, so this is all new territory for me. Uh so yeah, as I was saying, I've just been We've been, uh... Just, man, just, just, I've been busy this week. <laughs> Hopefully once, you know. Hopefully once I get into a, into a nice flow and a rhythm and whatnot for... This semester, everything will, you know, smooth out. What's Mix this? that with the fact that, what, I started four new projects this month. Next month, it's only two. Because I, I was originally going to play, um... Oh, what the hell to call it. Um... Call of the Mountain. That's right. The new Horizon. What or what I thought was the Horizon DLC. And hopefully you can hear me over the combat noise. Combat sound in this game is just it's really hard to balance. At least for me. Uh, but yeah, I, I thought the uh, the new I thought the new DLC for Horizon was. Um. Thought that was next month, but no, I believe that's in March. Uh, Call of the Mountain or whatever the hell it is is a um, PSVR exclusive, and I okay? don't have VR. So. Not going to hurt it. <sighs> I see a village over there. The people working in it look Danon. Look at these fields and all this <gasps> livestock. Am I crazy for thinking these people seem to have it pretty easy? What the hell is going on here? I mean, compared to what you guys had. Oh, wait, did, did I say this in the previous one? It, 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 wouldn't it be interesting to see if, like, we're trying to... to liberate these Danons, but they're all kind of like, well, I mean, it's not so bad. I mean, yeah, we're second-class citizens, but, you know, it's they've kind of been... Well, yeah, I mean, we're second-class citizens, but I mean, Maybe come on. Maybe something's it's, going on in the forest. It's not awful. You know, we're not... You know, they're not slaves or whatever. I mean, they're essentially just villagers. You know, yeah, like I said, yeah, second-class citizens, but not... Uh, it could be worse. You know, they could be in Calaglia or living under a fascistic military regime like um, 
I, for some reason, totally blanked on what Syslodia. You jumped off the bridge, and that's what... You know what, kid? I did you a disservice. Maybe I should have let you heal on your own. Well, that hurt. I jumped off the bridge. Yeah, well, hurting is, you know... <laughs> it's how you learn not to do stupid shit. You know, it's like my dad. He's like, oh, yeah, oh, I wanna, I wanna stick the, I'm gonna stick a fork in an outlet. Don't do it. Why not? And just, I wouldn't do it. Well, I'm gonna do it. All right, see what happens. Hurts, didn't it? I wouldn't do that again. <laughs> you know, that's, that's how I was raised, man. I'm only half kidding. No, my dad did not let me stick a fork in an electrical outlet, but the principle was there. I, think, I thought I saw a... Uh, yeah, there's a side mission there. Okay. You okay? If I was okay, I wouldn't be lying here, now would I? Yeah, just about. Well, at any rate, I sure can't move. Maybe this is some sort of sign. Say, kid, mind helping this old geezer out? Not sure why not. What do you have in mind? I was hoping you could bring me back to my home. Oh, that's it? Well, okay, I can do that. Well, we were just heading toward... No, not that way. My house is in the opposite direction from the city. It is? Oh, well, we come this far. Guess I'll get you back home. Nice to know there are still some good souls, and I'm trying to, like, half do a country bumpkin accent. Um, he's trying times. I see a lot of promise in you, kid. Yeah, I'm nothing special. Just trying my best, old man. I should mention, my back hurts, too. Can I ask you to carry me as well? Yeah, lol, this is what you get. Ugh. What? Tired already? I expected better from you. Still, I appreciate it, kid. If you hadn't come along, I'd have been Zoogle food for long. Eh, don't mention it. Still, you're heavier than you look. The heck do you eat, old-timer? Yeah. <laughs> Good question. Name's Bogdal. I run this here ranch, which uh, always keeps my stomach full of nothing else. A uh, ranch? You don't know what a ranch is, boy? <laughs> Where do you think all the food you eat in town comes from? Point being, folks like me are the ones who supp uh, supply the food everyone eats, both Dannons and Renans alike. Anyway, I owe you a little something for helping me get back here in one piece. <laughs> you don't have to do that, it's fine. Oh, hush, I just need to figure out what. I don't got a lot to spare around here. I know. You all can make use of this here ranch as much as you like. The livestock here will be all yours. Heck, I'll even help look after them. How's that sound? It's so nice of you to offer, but I don't know the first thing about raising animals. <laughs> you'll be fine, trust me. You've got to face the animals of love. I'm sure you'll take good care of them. Is that really happening? Or is this really happening? Uh, you can raise livestock for cooking ingredients. Place the livestock you want to raise in the barn and give them feed. You can give them paid feed to raise them to raise more of them faster. Okay. Uh, livestock can come under attack by stray zoogles. Mice can also get into the barn, which will keep livestock from growing. Post a guard dog to lower the rate of stray zoogles attacking. Post a guard cat. Oh my god, this is really stupid, and I love it. <laughs> I'm gonna let I'm gonna let my uh, SP grow a little bit more. Like I said, this is really dumb. Animals, but I love it. Like this. Since we've decided to stop, we should make use of the opportunity. Do you mean me? It doesn't matter who. Why the kitty and doggies? I love it. Uh, animals are sensitive to danger environments. Yada yada yada. Okay, let's raise some livestock. So we got two cats and two dogs. To use, I guess, fattening feed. Yeah, you want some...
fat pigs, some fat cows, some chickadees. Eh, let's just do regular feed for the chickens. Uh, uh, sure, let's have two cats and two dogs. I still think this is really weird. Can we, like, upgrade this place so we can get more... <laughs> more animals? Ah, uh, whatever, man. I figured we could fast travel here. <laughs> What's I talking about earlier? Oh, right, I was talking about future projects. Yeah, like I said, next month I think we have uh, Hogwarts Legacy, which, yes, I know, I'm going to play it, and all the people... There's so many people that, oh, don't play Hogwarts Legacy. It's, you're supporting J.K. Rowling. And I'm like, look, I don't love J.K. Rowling, but I don't, uh, everybody's mad at her for the whole, you know, what, because she's, she's a turf or whatever. It just, it does you know, whatever her politics are, I'm like, I'm sure, you know, how, how many people love Lord of the Rings, but I really doubt you want to listen to J.K. Rowling, or J.K. <laughs> God damn it. When <laughs> it was the Tolkien's uh, politics, I bet you wouldn't like them. Or what uh, What was H.P. Uh, Lovecraft was, I believe, you know, he's a beloved writer, and especially in his, you know, genre. But what, I mean, that dude, he was horrendously racist, wasn't he? I don't know, I, I just don't care. Like, I'm, I've been wanting a, a free roam, create my own character Harry Potter game set in something outside the movies or books or whatever. So, dude, I am stoked for Hogwarts Legacy. And we also got Like a Dragon Ishin, so a uh, feudal Japan Yakuza game. <laughs> Jeez. Though if I'm being if I'm being fair-handed, my side or the people that I usually more agree with, who are all, you know, the hate the wokeism in video games. I think what their people are going after for spoken, which I think after what I've played of the game so far, it's fine. Uh, it's pretty generic fantasy world, you know. Okay, people are like, oh, Frey. I'll let this play before I keep bitching. Do the Renans control this city? I've never seen so many of them in one place before. No. Look at the cores on them. These people are all Danans. They're slaves. See, I think slave's a relative term. They they're awfully well-dressed. And they're smiling, too. Something weird's going on here. Like I Forget said... the intrusion, but if I'm not mistaken, you're newcomers to Elda Menencia, yes? Please. You have no reason to be alarmed. My name is Drashen. I work at the Department for Welfare. Department for Welfare? We work to support the day-to-day -day living of all citizens. Oh god, they're Welcome communists. To the this is even worse. <laughs> Albeit one we rarely have the pleasure to perform. Let me guess. We get a free pair of shackles as a welcome gift. Perish the thought. Your trepidation is perfectly understandable, but I assure you, our way is quite different. <sighs> In the past, this realm was no different from any other, and run by a rather merciless ruler. But all of that changed once His Excellency Lord Dohalim assumed power seven years ago. Dohalim. Under him, for the first time in our lives, we Danans were treated with the respect we deserve. Lord Dohalim is adored by Danans throughout the realm, and we serve him with gladness. Am I hearing you right? The Danans here willingly serve a Renan lord? Please, see for yourself. You're free to go anywhere you like. Just ask if you should need anything. What is it? Spit it out. It's just, we came here to free everyone. Uh-huh. But the Danans of this realm are all happy to serve Dohalim. Are there any walls that even need tearing down? Who cares? That just makes our path to Dohalim that much clearer. I guess, but... Still, Drashen said we should check things out for ourselves. Maybe we should look around a bit, see what we learn. And see, that that's what I was thinking about this realm. What if it's run Everyone by a... Smiles. More I've of a benevolent leader. So lively before. 
you know, one who's not all doom and gloom like the last so two. calm and happy. I guess it really is true they don't treat Danans as slaves here. But they still kind of did are. Did they somehow achieve equality here? And if they did, mm, why? Probably not. To what end? Something Quality is probably not right. what they have. Yeah. Even though they sure want to act like it does. What is going through that Lord Dohalim's mind, I wonder? <sighs> See, my guess is still that they are, they're still so, like second class citizens. But it's one of those, well, the other guy was brutal. This guy oppresses us a lot nicer. Your armor rocks, big guy. And their armor is pretty dope. <laughs> Our armor is certainly something even a Danon like you could wear. You just need to grow into it first. I'll work hard to grow big and strong then, I promise. But yeah, whatever I was saying about... Um, about First Spoken. Yeah, I think the game's fine. It's got an interesting combat system that I'm enjoying. Um, I kind of like the level system. It just, I, I don't hate the game, but people are like, oh, Frey is such an annoying character. I don't think so. I mean, she's a little clunky at times. I think they were going for somebody kind of like Yusuke Yurameshi, where she, they're really prickly and they've got a, like a, a tough exterior, but, you know, kind of deep down, they're still a kind person, but... I don't know. It's not anywhere near as well done as a guy like Yusuke was. I was thinking about Yu Yu Hakusho earlier today. So. <laughs> if you don't know, I fucking love Yu Yu Hakusho. It's probably my favorite anime. Slash manga. Um, it, it's pretty, it, For me, it pretty much goes Yu Yu, then One Piece. Those are my, those are my, like, my, my two favorites. Like, I'm, I'm playing One Piece Odyssey right now, and... God damn it, man! If they would make a make a Yu Yu Hakusho like turn-based RPG, oh my god, I would just oh, it's, I don't I don't need anything else in my life after that. <laughs> blah blah blah. Yeah, I'm just kind of going through these, letting the. But yeah, I mean, it's like I said, I, I think some people, you know, a lot of people get a little too worked up about a lot of different stuff. I, like, I, I, I understand frustration with things. I understand. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what the hell I'm getting at. I just, I think people on all sides of the aisle are a little harsh on games and media and whatnot. Because I think, you know, the, like I said, the side, of my side, it's always, you know, you see, you see a little bit of the wokeism and, oh, we have to, you know, oh, the game's trash. No, the game's fine. It's just not great. And it's not great for reasons other than what you're talking about. I'm looking for the owl, if you didn't, if you're wondering. What the hell are you doing, AJ? I'm looking for the fucking owl. I hear you. Okay. I found you, you little bastard. That was a cleverly hidden owl. Maybe something's going on in the forest. So, do any of you know anything about Lord Dohalim? I think I remember hearing something back in Cislodan about how he fights using a rod. <laughs> a rod? I don't know the details, but from what I gather, he swings a long rod around and uses it to stab and smack people from afar. I think there's also something he does with, like, trees or grass or something? I forget. Grass? Bear in mind that Elda Menencia harvests Earth astral energy. It would be no surprise for him to have some sort of control over plants. So basically the point is we know nothing about the guy. Wish we weren't going in completely blind. If this guy's who I think he is, I think he's actually the next companion we get for the team. Because I know... I can't remember his name from the demo I played all that time ago, but I believe the guy I'm thinking of also fought with a with a staff or rod or whatever. Hey, guardsman, shouldn't you be working? 
I don't know what it's like in the realm you come from, but here in Menencia, everything's peaceful. There's zero chance of anything bad happening. Well, yeah, thanks to the Lord, life is nice for all of us. Yeah, see? And it's more than just us. Anyway, there's also the guardsmen. Nothing's gonna break if I slack off. Well, I mean, you can slack off, but wouldn't you want to do it outside of that armor? Nonetheless, the reason this city's so peaceful is because you Renin soldiers are around. All the youngster, uh, all the younger kids idolize you. So don't shatter their illusion, please. You've got a silver tongue, mister. Fine, I'll make this drink my last. I don't know why. I'm, I'm talking about manga, and for some reason that conversation reminded me of a new manga I just picked up, like... I think last night I started reading it. Somebody's asking for help. Um, check out Ranger Reject. It's a um, it's like a uh, the Power Rangers, but the the Power Rangers are it, it's kind of I think somebody explained it. It's kind of like the boys mixed with Power Rangers. I think it's pretty fun. Hmm. Excuse me, sir. You appear to be a stranger to these parts, right. yes? Yeah, we come from out of town. Why? I apologize for the sudden proposition, but you wouldn't happen to have any granite fangs on you, uh, on your person by any chance, would you? They come from the tusks of boar zoogles that you can find outside of town. I'm looking for zoogle tusks. How come? To make weapons out of them? Oh, nothing like that. You see, those tusks change color when they detect poison. Eating utensils made from those tusks are quite popular at, at Telina Palace, so I was hoping to stock up on more of them. Why, is someone worried about their being poison? Rena is a society that respects its hierarchy. It's hard for me to imagine anyone actually trying to poison a noble. Likewise, I've never heard of such a thing taking place. However, it's tradition at the palace to offer the tusks as something of a curio. I tried to ask the guardsmen for their assistance, but they unfortunately appear to be occupied with more pressing matters. Hence, if you happen to have any granite fangs, I wish to ask that you hand me four of them. How's this? Sure, we can stand to give away that many. Oh, wonderful. Thank you so very much, kind sir. Now I have enough to make more wow. utensils. Oh, you're the one who makes them, huh? Mind if I watch you do that sometime? If you're okay with an audience, that is. Of course. Please feel free to visit me whenever you have a spare uh, moment to spare. I'd love it if uh, you could maybe also turn some of those tusks into wet alfin. Never mind. I think we're going to head out now. <laughs> Very well. Thank you again for your generosity. Zoogle fangs would make great weapons. You need to stop this fixation with weapons. But you're the same way about food. Are you planning <laughs> to stop that? <laughs> Fucking shit door. I love it. Looks like we get to sleep with a roof over our heads. Eh, we'll sell the copper chunks that we got. Oh wait, no, I don't want to sell I don't want to sell my apple gels. There we go. I need some more just generic healing items. Let's rest. Um you know what? No, let's not cook before. Oh wait. Rest? No. There we go. Why waste the ingredients? I'm gonna poke around town for a little bit. Uh, just in case. Can't make a flare claw. Can't make innocent lily. Nope. He's already got the flaming knuckles. Okay. And I guess while we're. Hanging around, let's head to the owl forest. Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? Ooh. 
I mean, I bet he sent one of his friends because we're in the owl place. Oh, there are the earth owls. The ice or light or whatever owls. The owls from Calaglia. I like how you can see the ones from what uh, what realm they're from. It's kind of cool. This is so stupid, and I love it. <laughs> I'm so I'm so easily pleased. You <laughs> just. Alfred's face. Oh man, that's awesome. Look, it's all the owls we found. I guess this was their way of thanking us for finding them. It looks like they're grouping up by color. Is that a thing? Actually, the color of Dan and Owl's feathers is based on their maturity and their astral energy element. So maybe they stick to certain groups even if they all belong to the same kingdom. Then I guess that means we can tell just how many owls we found in each domain. <laughs> They seem to be saying something. Maybe they're thanking us for finding their buddies. <laughs> this mustache. <laughs> then again, maybe they're telling us that we have more owls to find. I think the queen is protesting that they shouldn't put undue pressure on us. Maybe he's arguing back that we're the only ones they can actually turn to? Right. Which is why the Queen is worried about sowing any ill will with us. You guys are totally oh, guessing. Oh. We'll do our best, so don't worry. I think. Can you understand them? <laughs> of course not. I'm just inferring. For some reason, when I hear them talk, that's just what I imagine them saying. Oh, well, I think you're pretty close to the mark, at least. For the love well, of God, somebody it. tell me where to get a hoodle plushie. Oh, I need it. I think that was a thank you. Seems like it, from both of them. <laughs> <laughs> hoodle seems happy with this. Isn't that nice, Rinwell? Huh? Uh, oh, yeah. Absolutely. <sighs> I mean, on my desk right now, I've got my, my mask from Ghost of Tsushima. I've got my, uh, my, my Anchan in a bikini. Yeah, that's right. I have a, I have a sexy Anchan figure. Fight me. Um... I think what else? I've got my uh, my Joker mask also up there. You know the little thing that came with the Son of Royal Special Edition. Uh, I've got my Ellie statue somewhere else in my office, probably gathering dust. <laughs> oh yeah, I've also got a got a little little sheep above my desk. I forgot about that. It's from <laughs> the full body, um, Catherine full body. It's the little little plushy of the sheep. I take it you folks are all travelers. It's so wonderful to have you all here. You really don't bat an eye at us all being together, do you? Even though we have a Renin with us. Are you surprised? <laughs> I suppose it might not be a common sight elsewhere on Dana, but here in Viznet, Vin Vicent, Vicent? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. It's a part of our everyday life. Hey, if we want to visit the palace, do we keep going this way? Yes, that's exactly right. Although, if you ask me, the training grounds might be more up your alley, since you all appear to be of that persuasion. Training grounds, you say? Is that code for some kind of arena where you can, oh my god, please? <laughs> no, absolutely not. It's nothing terrible like that. The training grounds are what they sound like. It's true that years ago, it was... It used to be a really gruesome place where slaves had to fight each other, as well as vicious zoogles. But when our current lord, Lord Dohalim... Dohalim... Um, came to power, one of the very first things he did was put a stop to such an awful mm. spectacle. You're telling me a Renan Lord did that? 
the place was then refurnished and it reopened as a proper place to train like it's known for these days. It's mainly designed to be used by the Elda Men and Sea Guard, but it's open to anyone who wishes to use its facilities. Anyone? Even Danons? Of course. The arena is far too punishing for me, but if you're looking to hone your skills, I recommend you pay it a visit. So it's literally... So it, so it is an arena. I mean, it's a... And I mean that in the video game kind of sense. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll do all that stuff at another time, but I want to go see this arena. an easy 500 gold. So these are the training grounds. The atmosphere here feels different compared to the rest of Vicent. It's just a nicer Scent. name for a place where people go to fight. So? It's still a good way for us to test our strength. Stop sweating the small stuff. But yeah, I mean, if people aren't going in there and killing each other, and it's just, you know what I mean, it's just like a fighting tournament, it's... Train to the next level, come to the right place, embrace anybody who walks through our doors. As long as you want to improve yourself, you'll always have a place to train here. I can already tell just from looking at you all that you don't want to simply improve. Either you want to be the best uh, at what you do, am I right? Step right in, throw down the gauntlet. Uh, we'll be more than happy to put you through your paces. Solo battle, group battle, okay. Um, at the training grounds, you can fight in a solo or group, sometimes under special rules. The difficulty is fixed to normal and items are not allowed. Clearing them your first time at beating your time in subsequent uh, tries earns you rewards. Some trials have special rules as listed below. Uh, down only damage. Damage is inflicted after enemies are downed by a boost attack. Uh, no rematches for x mins Cannot be attempted again for the stated period. Okay. Then I can pick which character. Well, I, I really like playing as Law, so let's give it a shot. Law training. All right, let's do it. about the cabin. Come on, come on, come on, come on.
And that's what I get for shooting too high. I'm on it. I'm such a failure. Damn it. I think it was a little low under leveled, but okay. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, I'm definitely under leveled. All right, I'll come back and try these later. Um, hit me up in the comments. You want to see those? I'll show them. I'll be happy to, or you know, maybe I'll just do them off ca uh, off camera if nobody's interested. But eh, either way, uh, guys. I gotta bounce. I've got some homework due at midnight, and uh, so <laughs> I've got to get that shit done. Uh, plus, I gotta get ready for Dead Space, uh, the Dead Space remake, in a couple hours. So, thanks for watching. Social media in the description. Like, comment, subscribe. All the good stuff. We'll pick up here in the next one. But until then, guys, I'm out.